welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today is 12 DPO, um, 12 days past ovulation. And on my pre-mom's test, it said that it's okay to go ahead and take a pregnancy test today. So I have a first response and a easy at home. So real quick, um, I'm just gonna be honest, like, I don't really feel too hopeful. I'm, I mean, I don't know why, I just feel like, mm, this is not my, this is cycle one, so I'm like, mm, I don't think that anything happened this time, but I mean, you never know, you never know. Um, I did take a test, I have been testing these past few days, which I feel like they all been negative, but I took a test last night. It did seem like it was kind of, um, I did see a line, but you know, you get line eyes and all types of stuff. So I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe not. So I feel like today's the day. And don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Um, if I do test negative today at 12 DPO, um, that doesn't mean I'm technically out. They say you're technically out when you when envelope comes. So don't get discouraged. I um, see lots of people in different groups. They don't get their first positive until like 13 DPO. Some people don't even get their first positive until 17 DPO. So just because my test might come out negative does not mean that there's still not any hope. There's still no hope. Okay. I'm just not feeling hopeful this round. And like I said, I really don't know why, but um, I have been trying not to, what you call that, um, symptom spotting, been trying not to symptom spot. And um, like I said, I don't think that this time has happened, but it's okay. I'm going to be okay, and it's going to be okay. So um, here I have my Easy at Home. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip it. I already got my pee. Sorry, y'all. I got my pee, but I'm not gonna show it. But I'm gonna go ahead and dip it. Okay, that's dipped. And then I'm going to dip my first response. And then I'm going to wait three minutes. I'm gonna wait three minutes. And then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so. Uh, Feeling a little nervous. I don't really know why, but I guess it is kind of like a nerve feeling. <laughs> okay, so I have the first response dipped. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm going to wait three minutes and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm like, ugh, very, very nervous. I hate this feeling. Cause I feel like I already know. Cause I'm, I feel like I'm in tune with my body. So I'm like, I already know. But we're gonna start with the easy at home. Oh my gosh. This is what happened to me last night, y'all. Like, there's a line there and I'm about to freak out. Cause I'm like, ain't no way. Like there's a, there's a line, y'all. I'm like, I, and honestly, there's a line. Like, I want to see if y'all can see this. This is really like, let's see, let's see. I know y'all can't, let's see. Okay, y'all can't see it. And literally, it's been in the time frame. So I'm like, is this positive? Like, and also, y'all, like, I just had a um, chemical pregnancy in December. So I'm almost, I'm kind of nervous about that too. So I'm like, it's 12 DPO. The line, if this, this is a line, it's not that dark. And just makes me a little nervous. Like, but I'm gonna look at the first response because I'm still like, I can't believe there's a line because literally I still have the test from last night and I'm like, I see the line on this test. And I'm like, you know, easy at home tests sometimes give you um, indents or um, evap lines. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a freaking line here. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna do the first response because I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. You see, there's a line on the first response, but it's so light. 
I'm sorry y'all, but I'm rambling because I'm like, I'm looking at it. There's a line and I'm like, I might even have another chemical pregnancy. Like this is really bothering me. The line is there, but it's not as, it's not that dark. But the first was the um, easy at home, like it's there. Like I don't have to squinch, but it's not that dark, but it's also not like, I feel like I'm gonna have to run out and go get like a digital. I'm about to go out and buy a whole bunch of tests. Babe, if you're watching this, please don't be at sex. I'm about to run out and buy a whole bunch of tests. Like, oh my gosh. And then the um, first response, there's a line, but it's very, very, um, it's not that dark, but it's there. Like, I don't have to be like, it's the, you know, some people be like, I, listen, I'm one of those people like, wait, is there a line? I'm like, holding it up and I'm moving it around. I'm like, there's a line there. Like, oh my goodness. I cannot, I'm like in shock because I've literally been telling myself like, girl, you're not pregnant. Like, and I haven't really been having like any symptoms like that. I, I mean, I've been notating stuff, but I've been telling myself also like, girl, mm -mm. like, you're something spotting, symptom spotting, and you know, I wish I could, and I know y'all can't see it. There's no point in being like, oh, look, can you see? I see maybe. No, you can't see. There's definitely a line, like, I'm in shock, shock, like. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and it's still 12 DPO, but it's about uh, 5.30, almost six o'clock. And um, I went out this morning and got some more tests. And also, like, all day, I've been kind of, like, feeling sick. And, like, my stomach, I mean, my stomach has just been cramping all, all day. Like, I don't know, it's just weird. I've been having really bad cramps all day. I'm going to stay positive because, I mean, it just, cramping is normal. Um, but to take the test so let's see i'm gonna wait three minutes i'm gonna put it inside here so i can't see it it's shaking because my stomach is hurting my stomach is cramping so bad like i'm shaking but i'm gonna be okay um so i'll be back in three minutes okay so the three minutes is up hopefully it looks darker than this test I took this morning. I don't know if y'all can see it now that it's dried up. Maybe you can see the line. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. Um, this is the test from this morning. So when you look at the test. Um, and yeah. The line is definitely there and it's darker. Much darker, and, well, not much darker, but it's, it's on, you know, there's no way you can mistake in it. Um, so, I'm pregnant. I'm really, really excited. I know I'm not showing it, like, I just don't really even feel good right now, but I'm super, super, super excited. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, y'all, so um, as you know, I'm pregnant, but I've been testing. I don't know, I'm just, I have had chemical pregnancies in the, te in the past, so I'm just very nervous, but I've been testing almost every day and I just feel like my lines aren't getting any darker. And um, I did go to the doctor yesterday or the day before yesterday for a just to confirm pregnancy we didn't do a blood test which i felt like i should have opened my mouth and asked for a blood test but i didn't and um just took um a test just now and um it's 17 dpo for me today and i use first morning urine and um the line just looks like it's getting lighter it doesn't look like it's getting darker I'm just, I'm really sad about it. Um, I'm really sad, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm sad, I'm sad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad. I mean, we already told the kids, I already told my husband. I'm just like, 
I didn't want to tell the kids, but I feel like my husband kind of pressured me into telling the kids. But just feel like I didn't want to tell anybody. I didn't want to announce anything to anybody at this time because, I don't know, I just kind of, when I saw my lines not really getting darker and then, you know, you're in these groups and then you're um, looking at everybody else's lines and these groups and stuff, it's just my, you know, I feel like I should have a what a dye stealer at 17 DPO and it just looks like I'm the test line looks like I just found out that I'm pregnant. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so these are the test lines. They're all dried out, of course, because you know it's been a few days, but as you can see, it did look like it was gonna it started getting darker right here, and then now when you look at it, it's like the line is lighter. It's just, it should be darker by now. And um, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy, but I just feel like the line, yeah, the line definitely should be darker. I mean, I'm not really having any symptoms. I might've had like some mild, very, very mild nausea, just gas, kind of gassy. But um, right now I'm just like, I'm really, Trying to stay positive, but I just feel like I need to go ahead and just kind of, just kind of already start dealing with it, just waiting or, because like I said, the lines should be darker to me. This is me. Like, I feel like my line should be darker. I should not still, yeah, like this line is almost the same line I got at 12 DPO or 13 DPO, but all the, you know, they're dried out right now. And... It should be darker. I don't know. Hmm. I'm really sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm trying not to cry because I'm like, I know it's an early, um, it's an early miscarriage. A loss is a loss. A loss is a loss. But I just feel like I shouldn't. I just shouldn't be up this upset about it. I felt like when I first took the test at 12 DPO, I felt like. Oh my gosh, as y'all can see in the video, you know, I felt like, is this going to be a chemical pregnancy? I don't know. It's the first thing that popped in my head because I did have a chemical pregnancy in December. It's now January and I feel like, why is this happening again in January? And this almost makes me feel like maybe we should, maybe we should just take a break and I just go get checked out by the doctor. If everything doesn't go as planned, you know, if, you know, if this doesn't work out, take a break and um, go get checked out. Make sure everything's okay. Which I did have an appointment for February 16th to go in to get checked out. Make sure, you know, everything's okay. But since I found out that I'm pregnant, they kind of push my, I, I'm going to a new doctor's office. They push my date till March 1st, which would make me, um, I would be eight weeks. They wanted just to, me to come in at my eight weeks appointment instead of my new OB appointment. They wanted me to come in when I'm eight weeks. Now I'm like regretting calling, scheduling an appointment. I have to wait till March or I don't know, y'all. I'm all over the place, but I'm really sad. I'm sad. And it's okay to be sad. Um, of course, we're going to keep trying. I, I might need to take a little break <sighs> because I felt like, I'm not going to lie, tracking is stressful for me. It was just like tracking twice a day watching these lines it just it, it it was a lot for me i just felt like very overwhelmed trying to make sure you baby dance on the right days and it's like your husband at work and he's tired and you expect him to come home and you know give it up <laughs> which really wasn't a problem but I don't, I'm not, I am don't want to make it like a job or a chore that we have to be, you know, we have to do it. We have to do it right now, today, at this time. Like, I don't want to be like that, but I don't know. Maybe we should take a break. We are planning to take a family vacation to Disney in April. Maybe I would, I don't know. This doesn't, like I said, if this doesn't work out, maybe I'll take a break and maybe we'll start trying again in April you know that way you're not gonna ride the rides with the kids and it's gonna be a family trip you know cousins coming and we're gonna meet up so 
you know. And, you know, I've been kind of taking tests every day. My husband told me to stop taking pregnancy tests every day. But I'm just like, it's easier said than done. When you've done, been through something, it makes you nervous. Your nerves are all over the place because you don't know if it's, am I going to have a miscarriage or not? Like, it's just, it's very stressful. But I'm rambling, y'all. I'm just, I'm upset. I'm just thinking about everything. And I'm just like, I just keep looking at this test like, I already know, like, I already know. The line should be much darker for like 17 DPO, still looking like 12, 13 DPO, but I am sad about it. Yeah, I look a little rough, okay? Been looking rough in my videos. <laughs> Cause honestly, I didn't care, <laughs> but I know I've been looking rough in my videos, but I would do better. But um, I'm just gonna say this, um, you know, I hope my video doesn't discourage anybody. I'm sorry if it does. I just, I'll, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was very hopeless in the beginning. I was like, I just, I didn't get pregnant, I didn't get pregnant. Then finding out that I am pregnant, then now I'm like, <sighs> might be a chemical pregnancy, which I feel like I'm pretty sure. I'm just like, I'm just at this stage right now. Like, if it's gonna happen, just come on with it. Like just come on with it so I can deal with it and move on. But um Okay y'all. I'll see you guys maybe in the next video. I don't know if I'm gonna end this video right here, but see you guys <laughs> in the next video.